So we already have experience with how heavy vehicles perform on upgrades, and we're going to build on that. We're preparing for a future unit in capacity analysis where we're going to be interested in passenger car equivalents. In order to get ready for that, we're going to close out this unit with the notion of equivalent uniform grade. An equivalent uniform grade replaces a composite grade with the particular singular uniform grade that results in the same final speed as does the composite grade. And in this example, we're given an initial speed of 55 miles an hour and a composite grade with three segments. Segment one plus 2% for 5,000 feet, segment two plus 6% for 1,500 feet, and segment three plus 3% 3 for an additional 1,000 feet for an overall distance of 7,500 feet. And we're going to use the acceleration deceleration curves to figure out at the end of the three segments what that final speed is for a particular heavy vehicle. And then we're going to ask ourselves, what, what could we replace that composite grade with? What singular uniform grade results in that same final speed? Ultimately, that information is going to inform an additional consideration that has to do with passenger car equivalents. We're not really ready for that yet, but in looking ahead, we're going to be wondering how many passenger cars worth of capacity does each heavy vehicle take up? Does a truck or a bus take up two or three passenger cars worth of capacity or maybe four passenger cars worth of capacity? And it's this equivalent uniform grade that we could potentially inform that um, in a in a way that is a substitute for a more complex situation of this composite grade that we're facing here. So let's begin. We're going to use um, the available tool uh, for uh, this composite grade. Uh, we begin here with a 2% uh, upgrade for 5,000 feet. So we've got an initial speed of uh, 55 miles an hour and we're going to find that 2% upgrade and we're going to come over to 5,000 feet and we're going to move straight up vertically to the 2,000 to the 2% 2 uh, upgrade line. We're going to turn left uh, horizontally and find that it puts us on or around I'd say 47 miles per hour. Meaning that if we were to enter a 2% upgrade at 55 miles an hour and proceed along for a distance of 5,000 feet at the end of 5,000 feet, that heavy vehicle that started at 55 miles an hour is now traveling around 47 miles an hour. All right, now that ending speed at the end of segment one is the initial speed at the start of segment two. Segment two is a 6% grade. Okay, that's the solid line here. And if I come over at say 47 miles an hour and find that 6% uh, solid uh, deceleration curve. Well, this is my initial position somewhere to the left of zero. This is my initial position and I now need to move over um, the number of feet that the second segment is long, which is 1,500 feet. So I start here, uh, puts me about I think around here, I move an additional 1,500 feet and that is uh, such that uh, if I had um, been cruising along on a 6% uh, grade, I would have uh, ended um, at the end of a 1,500 foot segment um, at a speed of, I would say, hmm, maybe 24 miles an hour. Um, then I identify the um, 24 miles an hour speed at the end of segment two as my initial speed at the start of segment three. Now segment three is a 3% uh, grade for 1,000 feet. The initial speed is that 24 miles an hour. Uh, at 24 miles an hour, I'm finding the 3% uh, curve of interest. The solid line, the deceleration curve, uh, doesn't uh, inform any um, analysis uh, when I'm at a speed as low as 24 miles an hour. It's the partner uh, acceleration curve associated with a 3% upgrade that is of interest to me now, this dashed line. 
And if it's true that the end speed uh, at the end of segment two is the initial speed at the start of segment three, and that is 24 miles an hour, then I'm gonna come over here and find that dashed line for the 3% grade. This is gonna be my initial position somewhere to the right of zero, and I'm gonna go over an additional 1,000 feet, which puts me about this far over, and I come up to that 3% dashed line, and I turn left, and I'm reading off a final speed of maybe, maybe 31 miles per hour. If I did that reasonably accurately, and you're gonna to have to check me with your straight edge to see that I did, I am saying that the final speed at the end of segment three is about 31 miles an hour. And if that's the case, then I need to ask myself, what is that single uniform grade over an extended length of 7,500 feet that results in that same final speed of 31 miles per hour? Well, all right, let's find that out. At 7,500 feet, I come up to about 31 miles an hour, and I am finding that the equivalent uniform grade, the singular grade that would give me an end speed of 31 miles an hour is just over 4%. If it had been the case that I entered at 55 miles an hour on an uphill grade of just over 4% and continued for a full, duration, full length of 7,500 feet, then my final ending speed would have been 31 miles an hour. And I can conclude that a single uniform grade of just over 4% over 7,500 feet is fully equivalent to the composite grade of three separate segments of varying lengths and steepnesses. Once we've done that, then we are in a position to do further analysis that is more appropriate for um, the unit we're heading into, uh, which is to uh, do further calculations for that passenger car equivalent, ultimately figuring out how many um, passenger cars worth of demand I have um, in a mixed vehicle fleet that includes trucks, buses, RVs, and passenger cars. But that's a topic for another discussion. We're content here to be uh, comfortable finding an equivalent uniform grade when we are faced initially with a composite grade.